with Halo 4 flighting right around the corner, 343 is asking you to join in for the Halo Insider program. We also had a big playlist update with some changes coming for the MCC with removing some ranked modes on top of a patch update that recently came to the retail MCC and a brand new event as well that gives you some snazzy new nameplays. And Halo 5 will not be coming to the PC and 343 confirmed it. Stay tuned out the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, give you a news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news and informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. It greatly helps out the video so more people get a chance to see this video, to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. So with Halo 4's flighting process right around the corner, guys, it might even be going on by the time you're watching this video because I'm expecting it to be releasing either on a Thursday or Friday of this week. Recently, 343's support uh, Twitter called Halo Support recently went out and tweeted this just to kind of let you guys know. I did update this on my community page on my YouTube channel here, guys. So if you want to catch little tidbits of information that don't really require a full video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I do use this quite often and give some more information out for you guys. Uh, the support page re on Twitter recently just said, uh, interested in joining the upcoming Halo 4 PC flight? Today is the last day to get your Halo Insider profile up to date in order to lock in your spot. This was actually updated yesterday, but uh, by the time I am actually making this video, they made another post kind of mentioning this whole thing. So I think by the time you're watching this video, guys, it might be a little bit late, but this lets me know that by the time I release this video, the flight isn't out, but it might be out either on Thursday or Friday. I will certainly be making a lot of content on this channel. I'll be streaming it a ton on my Twitch channel. Link in the description down below, guys, if you want to follow me there. Get a chance to kind of interact with me live and play some games together. It'll be a good time. Everyone's going to be invited with this flight. Everyone. If you sign up for it, you're invited. So if you haven't had a chance, now's the time to do it because we get a chance to test out crossplay, input based matchmaking, and server region selection. Now, they did mention a previous update that it might not come. Day one of the flight might be coming in a mid flight patch, but initially we're going to get Halo 4 content, so that's going to be you know, pretty fun to play around with for sure. Also, today starts a brand new event for the MCC is the Halloween celebration. Starting off with some shoddy sniper action right there, guys. If you complete certain tasks within the MCC, you get some snazzy new nameplates. And this is one thing I was brought up on Twitter. If you check out some other parts right here, the playlist update that we get every week kind of goes into a little more detail about that, talking about how Shy Snipers rotates into 4v4 and FFA and kicks out Griff Ball. You have the Halloween celebration event, which goes until November 4th, completing the challenges within the Halloween celebration event to unlock two brand new nameplates. You got the Shotgun Shell and Spiderweb. We'll look into exactly how to accomplish those two nameplay challenges later in this video. Also, I want to mention the big changes here coming to the ranked playlist within the MCC. They are actually going to be picking out a bunch of different playlists, guys, making a more ro monthly rotational thing. So Halo 2 Classic, Halo 2 Anniversary, and Halo Reach Hardcore are all going to be removed from the standard playlist and moved into a monthly rotating playlist, starting out with Halo Reach Hardcore. I feel like this was rather inevitable just because of how unpopulated all three of these playlists are. I mean, they were only really popular when the games first came out on PC. It was fun for like that month, month and a half when they were populated. I haven't been able to find a game in any one of these uh, ever since. I can barely find a game in Halo 3 Hardcore and I'm like a level 13 or so, something like that. Like you pretty much need to be like around the 20s or 30s to actually find matches for people who are still playing. Would this be the factor to get people to jump back into these places if they're like a monthly rotation? Um, I don't think it would be because I think the whole point of like the MCC is like with the, with the ranking system is that like it's a overall grind to continually get better and rank up kind of thing. And if you reset that, like or take it away every month, it kind of even takes away more motivation to play these playlists. Ultimately, they're just old games that people are just not that passionate in trying to grind out and get better at because there's not that much of a scene for it. And that's totally understandable just because these are not the current games right now. A lot, you can find these games just no problem in social. Like you can find these games, yeah, all the games in the MCC, at least on PC, in my experience, you can find them all just fine, no problem. But when it comes to hardcore and ranked, it makes it pretty tricky. This brings hope to me that hopefully Invasion will be moved into social. That's what I would absolutely love to see so I get a chance to play more Invasion because I absolutely love that mode. I just can't find games anymore because it's ranked, sadly. So you probably have some more questions about exactly how do I get these special nameplates within the Halloween uh, celebration within the MCC. Well, let's jump right into it right here. So 
you can go into the career and options right here then you go into your challenge hub and then you go right here a new tab the halloween celebration so the first challenge here shotgun game is what it's called defeat enemies with a shotgun in any game mode to earn the shotgun shell nameplate you have to do this 50 times now this is just a heroic and legendary so you just jump into any campaign on the mzc use a shotgun get 50 kills no problem you generally find more shotguns on the flood missions so uh play one of the flood missions you'll find a shotgun pretty easily uh, maybe even just in just play ce like library you'll find a shotgun pretty easily there as well i know uh, but yeah any flood mission you'll find a shotgun no problem and then you also have the widow which is the way to get the widow nameplay complete match made infection or flood games to earn the spider web nameplate. You just have to complete 10 match made games in infection or any kind of flood game as well. Which interestingly enough here, they highlight, let me move my head a little bit, Halo 4, right there. They have that deliberately highlighted, unless that was a mistake. You know, they shaded away ODST, Halo 2, and CE when it comes to this infection flood game modes and stuff like that. But they have Halo 4. This event lasts until November 4th. So could we see Halo 4 being released before then? I doubt it. Uh, my speculation when it comes to the release of Halo 4 on PC, I'm expecting November 17th, as these flights generally take about two weeks, especially this one. So it seems like we'll probably get Halo 4 for the first week. The second week, probably the input-based matchmaking and cross-play and things like that. Get that test out for a week and give two weeks of just, you know, fixing up the game, tying up loose ends and things like that releasing the game. I know they definitely want to release this game before uh, the Thanksgiving holiday in the US, meaning the Tuesday before that Thanksgiving. Wouldn't probably make sense because a lot of people are kind of in and out in the office for holiday reasons. So the Tuesday before that on the 17th, when I would expect to see a release day for Halo 4, but that's quite interesting that they have it highlighted right there. I think it might just be like a UI thing, kind of bug or something, but hey, if we get to play Halo, if, or maybe even if playing the flight counts towards this, that would be interesting as well, but I would doubt that just because they're two different ranking systems within there. But certainly an interesting thing to just take a little note of, but again, just hop into either your Reach, H2A, or Halo 3 modes, play some Infraction 10 times, you'll get it, no problem. And to round off this video, guys, there actually was a recent patch on the MCC. Yeah, it actually came out today. Now, it wasn't anything huge, but it had some changes in there that I want to let you guys know for sure, just so you kind of guys get to keep up to date with all the good stuff that's happening with Halo here. We had the updated game version. Make sure your game is on this version, guys. If you're playing like on the Windows version or the Microsoft Store, you have to go in and manually update your game. I learned that one, not the hard way the first time there was an update back in Reach days, something like that. Again, all these links will be in the description down below. This tells you exactly also how to update your game, which is good to see. Xbox is going to be a, a nearly five gigabyte update. Uh, Microsoft Store is going to be about two and a half gigs. And Steam, it's actually just 50 megabytes. Quite the differences in sizes right there. I guess it kind of tells you the... Uh, the, all the extra bells and whistles that come to each platform, especially with the Microsoft side of things. Uh, some gameplay issues, stability updates were made to improve the player experience. Uh, the stability, as I'm guessing, probably just crashing and things like that. I've been experiencing a lot of frame drops happening recently, ever since ODST's update. And so I've just kind of locked everything at 60 at this point. Uh, I, I know some other people I've played with mentioned this as well. Let me know in the comment section if you guys are experiencing this on top of that. And they also said made improvements to cross-gen play in advance of upcoming launch of the Xbox Series S and X hardware. So you guys will have cross-generation play for the MCC, which is really great to hear. Uh, so because you know, regardless of you guys playing on the MCC on both platforms, so that's really good to make sure you can keep that solid pl pl player base together because we're a small, tiny group of Halo players and you definitely don't want to lose player base because of just platform reasons or any minor things like that. And had two UI fixes as well, very minor here. This is added focus animation to the root customization menu and capitalize Halo 3 weapon skin names to align with the other menu options. So finally, the MCC is fixed, guys. You know, the the, 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 the capital letters are there. Okay, it's fixed and you can stop complaining. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and to round off all the MCC stories going on right now, guys, Halo 5 will not be coming to the MCC. I've been seeing it in the comment section a lot about saying they want to see Halo 5 come to MCC. When's Halo 5 coming to PC, MCC, and all that good stuff? So Unicheck recently went on the uh, community update and kind of clarified this all up for us guys right here. Just said it straight here. This is, talking about Halo 4 and the flying process, saying that this is the last Halo title 
we currently have planned for the collection. Sorry to crush your Halo 5 in MZZ dreams. Let's finish this fight strong kind of thing. And I kind of expected that as well. I mean, yes, Halo 5 is technically on PC because you have the Halo 5 Forge version where you can, you know, obviously use Forge. You have the custom game browser for like multiplayer and things like that, but no matchmaking, no campaign and thing or firefight. I don't think there's even firefight or anything down there as well. And so it's very, you know, stripped down minimal version on there, but it's on PC if you want to play it though. Uh, I know people are obviously waiting for like a true release of Halo 5 on PC. I would not expect that to happen anytime soon. Of course, then I thought the same thing when it comes to bringing the MCC as a whole to PC, but hey, guess where we are in 2020? Halo 5 certainly would be a game that would benefit from being on the PC platform because even on the Xbox One, the platform the game is specifically designed for, it couldn't run at the ideal optimization that they had. Remember the beta for Halo 5 and how that lighting looked and how cool it was? and how just like much darker and rich the coloring was, much more atmospheric. And then once you got the final release, it was much more just bright, vibrant, and not very uh, in atmospheric in a way kind of thing. Because the, the play at 1080p, 60 FPS, and a solid 60 FPS, this, the game was too much for the Xbox One. And the Xbox One at that time was only, what, two years old at the time? So that's kind of ridiculous when you think about it. Now, would I like to see Halo 5 on PC? Obviously, yes, but I just don't think there'd be much of an audience for that. Though, like, obviously, that's just my opinion. Of course, I'd much rather see them focus on just trying to perfect the MCC that we have right now and just trying to make what we have really good because we have so much great content in the MCC that uh, adding on another game on top of that, I think would just be... And just like a lot, especially with adding Halo 5 for that game is like 100 gigabytes. MCC is already 100 gigabytes. To add everything in Halo 5 would be a bit much. And plus there's so many different systems within Halo 5. They honestly would probably have to cut out and just completely redo. It's a lot of work to just, it's not simply just copy pasta code. That's all the Halo news right now. Keep an eye out for the Halo 4 flight update, guys. I'll make sure I'll be making videos on that constantly, guys. I'll give you an announcement when it goes live. I'll let you see the season four content we will be receiving in that flight. Some gameplay experiences as well, how it runs on PC and how the crossplay works out eventually. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys, to keep yourself updated with everything going on. Talking about keeping yourself updated. If you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I got a link to all my news and information on videos if you missed anything for the last few days or so. So thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.